Hey everyone, this is Dave Stacy, Principal and Founder of Performance Based Fire Protection Engineering. We're out here in High Point, North Carolina at the Plant 7 building in Condon Yards. We're doing the semi-annual test of the Atrium Smoke Control System. At Performance Based Fire, we're a full service fire protection firm, but we specialize in Atrium Smoke Control System and Smoke Control Rational Analysis. So the North Carolina Building Code requires a smoke control rational analysis to be provided for any smoke control system, including atriums. So the key part of an analysis of atrium smoke control system is to maintain tenability for occupants. Make sure we provide life safety to everyone in the building during a fire event. We do that through computational fire modeling uh, efforts. We model the building, we look at prescribed uh, design fires, and we look at the smoke layer descending in that space. Based on that design fire, we determine what the exhaust capacity and makeup air needs to be for that specific building. So within section 909 of the North Carolina Building Code, it requires these types of systems to have initial acceptance testing, and we performed that in December of 2020. After that, we have to do semi-annual testing for a dedicated smoke control system, which means twice a year we're coming out here to make sure everything's working as designed and intended. So today's test was one of the semi-annual tests. It's an operational test, which means we're gonna test all the functions of the system. We're gonna check the smoke control panel, we're gonna check the fans and all the detection devices to activate that system. One of the first ones we did was the sprinkler water flow switch. In this building, there's two flow switches that will activate the system. These are zoned with the atrium. So anytime a sprinkler activates and that flow switch kicks, it will activate the smoke exhaust, open up the doors, and the system will operate as intended. Another method of detection for this atrium smoke control system is the VESDA air aspirating smoke detection system. This is provided in the upper elevation of the atrium. It provides very early warning and detection of a fire event. It looks for carbon particles in the air and it actively samples that air and it will activate the smoke control system if it detects that. There's four atrium smoke control exhaust fans for this building. Each of them is 20,000 CFM of exhaust. They're provided on the roof level, and they pull air from the upper elevation from the clear story of this atrium space. They kick on once a detection event occurs and after the door is open. We need to make sure the makeup air doors reach their fully open position before the fans activate to prevent a negative pressure from developing in the building. So part of the inspection process of looking at these exhaust fans is to ensure, one, that we're monitoring them at the smoke control panel, so we're throwing the power disconnects, and when we do so, we're gonna see a fault on the firefighter smoke control panel. This way, if there's any loss of power during any normal building operation, it's indicated on both the smoke control panel and the fire alarm panel. Someone will be notified that the system has a fault. We also open up the casing of the fan, and we're inspecting the belts, the motors, we'll make sure the motors are mounted correctly, they're solidly secured, and there's no uh, degradation of those belts. A smoke control system is intended to be fully automated. If there's any fire event or smoke event in the building, it will activate by itself. Uh, that's very important for fire departments. When they show up, they don't have to do anything. The system should be running, and you shouldn't have to flip any switches. However, there is opportunity for manual control. Perhaps there was a fire event outside of the atrium, and the fire department or the building owner wanted to utilize that to their advantage. We can put the system into manual override and individually control individual components, such as the doors or the exhaust fans. In some cases, there's detection devices that shouldn't activate the smoke control system. For this building, that includes manual pull stations and smoke detectors that aren't within the atrium domain. After our fire modeling process, we issue what's called a smoke control rational analysis. This document is basically the guideline for the smoke control system. It documents what doors will open, where the exhaust fans are, what the exhaust capacity is, and the overall operation of the system. 